Good morning, good afternoon, Antigua and Barbuda. I am meteorologist Jaleel Jacobs, and I'm here to bring you today's Tropical Weather Outlook update for Wednesday, September 20th, 2023. I'm going to take a look at our active storms within the tropical Atlantic, and we see here we have one current storm, and that is Hurricane Nigel in the central North Atlantic, as well as an area that has just emerged off of the coast of Africa, and we see it down there in that yellow demarcation. We first we get some information on Hurricane Nigel. It's currently east-northeast of Bermuda, and it's going to be continuing to move northeast away into the central tropic, the central northern Atlantic. And we do see some weakening to forecast by 8 a.m. on Friday. And Niger's going to, there's no coastal watches or warnings because Niger is just going to churn out at sea and be not affect anyone at this time. And we look at our seven-day outlook, and we see this area that we just mentioned before. Is going to be monitored for future development of a tropical cyclone over the next seven days. It currently has a 70% chance of development as the conditions are conducive for further development of the system, as well as an area just southeast of the United States or north of the Bahamas. And this area has a 40% chance of development over the next seven days. On our satellite image, we begin with that area we just mentioned, that is the southeast of the United States and north of the Bahamas. It is currently an area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. However, it has a potential to develop into a tropical cyclone or develop subtropical characteristics and may or may not become um, a cyclone Ophelia. If it does, we have um, the next name on the list will be uh, Philippe. And depending on which one of these systems develop first, whether it be this system here, or the system that has just moved off the coast of Africa, those are the next two names on the list, Ophelia and Philippe. Here we see Antigua and Barbuda in this red box, and this area here is associated with a tropical wave that is forecast to move across the islands tonight, and so we do expect some showers over the next 24 hours. We see Hurricane Nigel still in the northern Atlantic, as I mentioned before. This area here is associated with another tropical wave, and then this area in the corner here, that is the area that has just moved off of Africa, and that is a tropical wave that is going to be, uh, has the potential to come across the Central Atlantic and the Tropical Atlantic and make its way over to the Eastern Caribbean by possibly this time next week. Here we take a closer look at that area and we see the tropical wave just southeast of the Cabo Verde Islands. And this is forecasted to merge with this tropical wave as it continues to move westward across the center tropical Atlantic. And this area could develop into the next tropical cyclone as it approaches the Eastern Caribbean. And so we are going to continue to monitor it as it moves across the tropical Atlantic over the next seven days. And any other updates will be given as necessary and over the next few days. So stay tuned to the Antigua and Barbuda Meteorological Services YouTube page and our Facebook page. And if you haven't done so yet, like and subscribe so that you stay up to date with all the weather information. Again, I am meteorologist Jaleel Jacobs. Thanks for joining and we'll see you tomorrow.